Welcome to Missoula XC. I'm out here on the home trails, doing some leg openers, gonna rip some sweet single track up, do the efforts and bomb a fun downhill down. Now, as you probably saw on my social media earlier in the week, we have some new jerseys. First part of my Castelli custom order came in, and man, they knocked this thing out of the park. Red and black and white and some sweet topo action. Uh, yeah, could not be more stoked. Well, at the top of my ride here, sweating buckets, little goose group waffle snack. Time to rip it home. Got the grill fired up with the chimney. We're gonna, yeah, cook up some Englewood burgers. They've got some fresh Castilli bibs as well. Ah, Free Nero Race RC and one Premio Black. Hands down, nicest bibs I've ever used. Just incredible. I was gonna wash my bike, but it's starting to pour, so I guess I'll, uh, maybe I'll save on some water. Super ultra vegan sustainable bike wash. Since oatmeal have been consumed, it's Thursday morning. We're out spinning the legs to get them ready to race at 5 p.m. today. Started down by the river, and now I'm riding up the rattlesnake. Eggs and rice are down the hatch, and now we're going with a little bit more espresso to get the caffeine levels race ready. Normally, I don't do like any caffeine after noon if I can help it, because that quarter life caffeine is 10 hours, um, which can mess with your sleep. And sleep is far and away the most important thing for recovery. But on race day, all in for the caffeine. Even though I'm starting at five o'clock, I'll have quite a bit of caffeine in race. It started absolutely dumping rain. Be substantial thunderstorms, so we'll see what happens with that. Pump, front wheel, toolbox, extra wheels, bike loaded up on the Kuwait dirt bag mounts. Had this rain punch in my van for about two years, and I think this is the first time it's raining hard enough for me to actually wear it. Well, that is race number one. Third for me at the first race of the week here because of violent thunderstorms. We've got it down from six laps down to four to try and make the weather window so it's about an hour long. First lap was an absolute heater. I probably could have paced myself just a little easier and burned one or two less matches, which would have set me up for better, more success on lap two. Well. Yeah, it's Friday morning. Um, last night, washed bikes, did laundry, eat some food, Normatec, stretch, foam roll, good sleep. This morning, breakfast burrito, coffee, chilling, watching the World Cup uh, Lenzer Haida. And then we're gonna go for a little nice little ride. Eggs and bike are not quite as happy as they were yesterday. If you haven't gathered it by now, Missoula is shockingly beautiful. Just went through the wildflower peak down here at lower elevation at 3,500, but up there at 55 and more, tons of flowers still going. It is humid out here, that's for sure. Gonna go speed up a little farther, hit a couple more little openers and do a ripping fun descent down. Ooh. Let's ride all the goo goodies go into this old container and through a program called TerraCycle. You print out a free label and you mail it to them and they recycle all of your goo products. They also do Cliff, um, Toms of Maine, and many, many other plastic products from many different brands. Yeah, cool little effort that goo does for, for improved sustainability. They've also done away with plastic bottles and other stuff moving to Bevo metal bottles this year. Little decaf iced coffee and uh, time to bust out the power washer and clean this New Jersey. And to clarify, there's a C2 XC yesterday, C2 XC today on Friday, C1 tomorrow, Saturday, short track Sunday. I'm choosing to race Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, 
to put some emphasis on the C1 tomorrow where there's the most points and money. Gotta keep the new jerseys fresh. Saturday morning, going for a nice little spin in town. I race at 5 p.m. tonight again. So yeah, just keeping the legs opened up, a little, a little spin. Race nutrition dialed up, 140 grams of carbs between Roctane Mix and Gels. We've got the secret shady spot by the uh, Marshall Mountain Trout Pond. Not actually, but there are trout in it. And I think this is Carter's car who parked me in. I'm watching you, Carter. Just kidding, he was just here way before me and my unassigned assigned spot was not marked at all. So this in the garage, probably washed up tomorrow morning. I definitely don't feel like washing bikes right now. Oh, it's Sunday morning. I am tired and I didn't even race on Friday. I've only done, only done two XC races this week so far. But short track today, there's nothing caffeine can't fix. Yesterday, took home seventh. Um, yeah, started climbing. Just didn't have the juice to stay with that lead group of five or six. Yeah, I think lead six started going on lap one and I just didn't have the gas on the climb. I had to pace myself and I hope I could catch him later, but I did not. In the end, me, Gabe Harrelson and Ivan Sippy pretty much raced four laps together. Pretty much just paced myself the same as hard as I could maintain for the whole time, every lap and yeah. Going into lap four, we had a group of four chasers coming hard and Gabe and I just absolutely raged that final lap, put it in one of the fastest final laps. And I was able to hold Gabe off in that other group and we chased so hard to get away from those guys that we almost caught Braden and Carson who were fifth and sixth and finished like five or eight seconds behind them. All right, one more day, let's load her up. Caleb. Good job, Caleb. Up, up, Caleb. Good job, Caleb. Good job, Caleb. Thank you. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Two laps to go, fellas. Two to go. Hey, Sean. Twenty bucks each to beat this guy. Come on, Carson! Twenty bucks to beat Caleb. Twenty bucks if you beat him. Last lap, last lap. Go get him. Carson, Oshove, Crimson, Swartz. Well, it is raining now, post-race, started mid-race, before my race action. Got just a little bit sloppy out there, so we're gonna go wash my bike for the second time today. Whew, yeah, love a good short track. Since I stopped kind of doing as much ProSG stuff, I've been a little, a little out of practice with them. I only do a couple of year now. But uh, yeah, finished up fourth in that short track in the group of four. Definitely had the legs for the win, um, which is always nice, but played my car wrong, made that spicy pass on Carson and um, Cayenne, and then ended up uh, leading into the climb when you really needed to be in the wheels so you could jump before that last dual solemn section to uh, take it home. But you live and learn, 
I'll remember that next year. I won't make that mistake again. And uh, yeah, that concludes Missoula XC. What an incredible week of racing. I mean, really, I think one of everybody's favorites, favorite events of the entire year. Uh, everybody loves Missoula and it's pretty special to see so many people come here and uh, enjoy the place I call home. Massive, massive thank you to MTCX, Sean Radley, and the whole Missoula XC crew for putting on just a heater of event, the 11th year of Missoula XC, all the local sponsors and everyone else. Um, yeah, I mean, just what a great week. It's so fun every year. Thanks for making it happen. Stay tuned for the next UCI event here in Missoula, Pan Am Cyclocross Championships.